proven winning overlay angles video 9s and we are at Keeneland here for a 25 claimer mile and a 16th a nice bread and butter race we've got two value odds horses here number 12 whirling thunder morning line 12 to 1 our true odds 4 to 1 number 10 Cape San Blas 8 to 1 morning line our true odds 4 to half to 1 which is 9 to 2 these two value odds horses have some of the same uh, icons and angles going uh, first let me read you the odds and then explain to you what we do in this position well the two is taking the money uh, Richland Creek they were betting that one down near post time 7 to 5 8 to 5 range and the 12 and the 10 were both floating around 10 to 1 uh, 12 to 1 they were both right around the same ballpark of 10 to 1 okay so in a situation like that you you cannot bet just one horse because they both have a lot to like they both have a lot of icons their price their odds near post time are almost the same uh, now if one was going off at four to one bet down and the other one was ten to one I would say you know play the ten to one shot forget the four to one shot as far as a key horse purpose is concerned I do not like to bet value odds horses that get bet down to three to one four to one five to one etc I like to see them go off at least at eight to one the higher the better um, in any case so we got two qualifiers here in that they're both going off at ten to one uh, let me tell you the angles going on here and then I'll go through how the bet is put together when you're keying two horses first of all I'm going to tell you we got a value odds exacta here uh, it ran 10-12, and I'll show you the results file in just a minute. Cape Sam Blast was the winner. Whirling Thunder was second, completing the value odds exacta. Now let's see what Cape Sam Blast has going here. First of all, we see a proven winning angle 10C. That just indicates that he is a value odds horse that has the par icon. And of course, the par icon is indicates within its last few starts, this horse has matched or exceeded par for final time at today's class level and distance. So basically, what that's saying is, recently, this horse has run a race that if he can repeat it today would be good enough to win today if a horse ran recently even if it was three races ago good enough to beat today's field it is a contender the majority of the betting public have laser engraved in their brain what have you done for me lately and do not even consider what the horse did two or three races back you will find some real bomb winners with this angle. The 17A indicates he has uh, at least a 70% overlay odds from morning line to true odds. Uh, and then ultimately compare true odds to post time odds. Because if he's a 70% overlay morning line odds to true odds, but he gets back down to 4 to 1 he's no longer an overlay at all okay so we keep that in mind as far as angle 17a is concerned uh, angle 17 excuse me angle 23 the trainer pattern jockey angle you want to look for a horse that has both the successful trainer pattern icon which is that and either of these two accompanying it uh, the blue jockey trainer team would be indicating that the team does well at the current meet. 
The purple means the jockey trainer team has an excellent record over the long term study. So that's proven winning overlay angle 23. And now we go 24 and 26. 24 was the forgotten par angles, which we just talked about. 26, trainer pattern last race angle. Uh, whenever you have a horse that won their last start, and it's amazing how many overlay winners have actually won their last start. The majority of the betting public does not like winners moving up in class to a higher class circuit or higher class level, etc., etc. Certain trainers uh, have that special knack to keep their horse fit on top of his game for another peak or even lifetime best performance. Uh, um, best performance okay now when you throw into the mix a horse coming off a win and that horse has a successful trainer pattern icon that is a very good sign and as you can see here Cape Sandblast was a winner against the 10 horse field right here at Keeneland last time out okay that's angle 26 Angle 35 is simply that he has, he is within five points of the top power rating in this field. The top power rating is on the two at 113. The value odds horses clock in at 112 and 110, which is basically right there in the thick of things. And angle SB is a special bonus angle. Uh, if you go on to the member page and read that report, look below angle 36. It'll explain to you what angle SB is. I'm sorry, but you'll have to be a member to, to know that angle. Okay, so he does have that angle going for him as well. Now, how do you bet these particular races? Well, it, these are it, the races are bet the same no matter what. This is video 226. And I think we have not varied very, very much in the way we wager. This is a situation where we have to bet two horses, okay? So we're going to bet both the 10 and the 12 to win. We're going to wheel them in the exacta on top. Then we're going to take a trifecta, and I'm going to bring you up the exotic calculator and show you how that is put together. Okay, we're keying the 10 and the 12 on top. We're putting the 2, 8, 10, 12 in the middle, the rest of group, all of group A in the middle, and in the third spot of the try, all of group A and group B, which is the 4, 3, 7. Okay, that's $30. And this is, you know, assuming you have enough bankroll to play trifectas. Uh, if you don't have the bankroll, then just stick to win bets or win bets and exactas until you can build up your bankroll. But anyway, there's your $30 um, play on the trifecta and a $0.10 cent super. If you carried that out and kicked it out into the four spot, they could be about a $22, $25 play for the $0.10 cent super. Also, we got coming in here uh, rolling doubles, which uh, the race before, uh, the top pick, Why Fly, was our top pick was the winner in that race. So we got the rolling doubles there, and then from the 4th to the 5th. Let's take a look at all what happened as far as the action returned. Okay, here it is. Uh, we're getting back well, on a $10 win bet, $107 return there. Uh, the value odds exacta paid $169.60. We had two daily doubles, uh, one for 145 the other one for $164.80. Uh, the trifecta. Uh, the way that I showed you how to play it, just like this, for $30, returned $4, returned $969.95. Okay? Um, you could also play the 50 cent trifecta that would have cost you $15, which would have made it affordable because they have 50 cent tries there, but you would have got back... Uh, you know, 430 something instead of 969. But still, that's pretty good. 
and then uh, 278 20 on the 10 cent super and then the pick three 393.80 for a grand total of two thousand two hundred twenty eight dollars and forty three cents this was a very good learning video because it shows you what to do in the situation that comes along every now and then when we must key two horses okay thank you very much for viewing and i wish you good luck with all your wagers